if you realize that at 39, if you accomplish whatever your goals and dreams are, that that's just as good as accomplishing it at 25, it's probably better and more likely and more sustainable, then you could start reframing the way you look at shit. I'm a purebred entrepreneur for real, for real, for real. Like, documented. Been through the mud and now I'm growing in sunshine. Uh, Ryan Smith is the owner of the Utah Jazz. Excited to have him on because we're recording this a mere 10 or so days before All-Star Weekend in Utah. We are just hours away now from NBA All-Star Weekend and downtown Salt Lake is bustling for all the events, including one that is about an interactive experience for you. Baby, I feel like the man of the year. You know like what's fun about this is I knew that I could keep it low key so that I could get like real time with people. Gratitude is my latitude. It's something that leaves my mouth on almost a daily basis today. I love it. The day that I saw you, I went home and took a pregnancy test and found out I was pregnant Oh my with God. Auto. Gratitude is like, it's yeah. everything for us right now. I think about it all the time. Meanwhile, back to gratitude, the millions of people right now that just can't get pregnant are destined to not have a child when they want that more than anything on earth, it kind of like reframes your brain in a second. Totally. The shit that people take for granted. I'm in school right now, just have been struggling, I guess, trying to find like. What you like? What I like or a purpose. Or... Are you doing school for yourself or are you doing it for your parents? It's probably a mix of both. Would they be devastated if you bounced? My dad probably would. I think you have to have that combo with him. It's a good combo for you to have with them. The answer is you don't want to do it. Yeah. You wouldn't have brought it up to me if you did. Yeah. Are yeah. you collecting debt? Not right now, but. Starting next year, I will. You can't do that. Yeah, that's one of like the bigger reasons why I'm like even now like kind of wanting to pass on it. I'm, like, I'm you have to. Going. You gotta say, Dad, I love you. This isn't for me, and I can't take on personal debt yeah. for something that's not me. I've been doing it for you because I love you, but I can't take on this debt. He may say I'll pay for it. Then you have a different decision to make. Yeah. But you can't make a decision of doing something you don't want to do to collect on debt. You can't do that. He's been a big inspiration for us. We have a small podcast here in Utah, and one of the reasons why we still keep doing it. You never know whose life you can change. I'm aware. That part bothers me a little bit. I'm jealous of that. No. Not until we earn it ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say I'm a sellout. I fucking hate the Bulls so much. I'm so pissed right now. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I didn't really know who you were, but yeah. these guys told so me like, on you the whole time. Like, <laughs> we have to stay here the whole time. <laughs> we got I was like, all right. One day all this shit will make sense, I promise. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Stem from your podcast this morning, how you really enjoy working and it's not like actual right, work for you. it's my hobby. I love work too. I do nails and I just opened up a silver shop and I don't know how to balance, balance. my time between them, my beautiful family, and doing what I love. Love in itself is a balancer. Even just being around the four of you right now, I have a very good feeling that they're not confused that you're not about them. They know that you love them. There's a lot of people that are home at five o'clock every night and they're there plenty, and the kids and the husband and the wife like don't feel the love. Balance is individual. Balance is very circumstantial. What I think about is balance of heart and intent and love. I have a funny feeling that if one of these three needed you, that the silver shop and the nail shop, you'd burn to the fucking ground. Yes, I would. Well, that's the fucking answer Thank to you. your question. And by the way, you're also inspiring them. You're showing your daughter what it's like to be a fucking boss, female to execute. You're showing her that example. Balance is based on the intent, not the fucking logging the hours. I, I get it, a thousand percent. I just want to come sit by you, bro. I know that this was the biggest thing for you. It seems like people are having a great time. It's amazing. Our starter. You're awesome. Pleasure. Congrats on everything. Great season, brother. You ready for tonight? Yep. Looking forward to it. I believe one person you're grateful for, and don't miss our cast. Um, my mom. Everything starts from that seed. Great job, Gary. Thank you. Hey, here we are. Hey, bro. Thank you so See much. you soon, okay? See you soon. I gotta take you. I'll be ready for you, my guy. Let's first hear it for the host of this entire weekend, Ryan Smith. You've been a positive light in social media. 
help those people who are out there going, hey, what's my social persona? I, I think that you have to ask the simple question of why are you doing it? Most of the social that's out there isn't working because it's selfish. You want the likes, you want the money, you want to sell the thing. And we don't want that. You need to put out things that provide value and they can come in a lot of shapes and sizes. I'll tell you who I'm really fascinated by. The people who are posting on a daily basis who have very tiny, tiny audiences and enjoy it to no end. They enjoy it because they just want to share videos of them playing video games or cooking or things of that nature. This becomes a very simple game of why are you doing this? You do it because you love the thing that you're putting out there and it's part of the process, you're gonna win. The problem is too many people want certain things and they want it fast. So do you know that they're yelling at us because we're being rude because somebody else has to say, so can you say oh, goodbye? Thank you. Well, no, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh. We're done. Okay. We're finished, right? Well, hey, thanks for <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Love you back. Um, Gary, yes. what is one tip you would give if I wanted to like, you know, become known and like famous or something? Well, why do you want to become famous? I don't know, it just looks cool. But is it? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> what you really want to do is when you make your videos, make sure you're making them for yourself and it's something you actually believe in, not a video that you're doing because you think it will do good. Too many people make videos that they think will get views but it's not really in their soul. So if you decide to get into that world, when you make videos, make sure it's something you actually want to make. You got it? Yeah. My man. Thank you. I got you. just want to thank Utah in general for the extraordinary love. It's kind of nice to be back in the mix with people, you know. We're still a little rusty, like getting back into the grind of, uh, of vlogging, I want to do a little bit more of that. And Julia and Dustin, really appreciate you guys. A lot of deep insights, felt like the depth of the conversations today was very real and when I'm not doing it every day, you get fresh perspectives. One thing I've been thinking a lot about lately is just like, I think some people just think they're alone and they're just not. You know, if you're watching this and you think you're alone, it, you're not alone, you just haven't found those people. I really, really want to focus on that more.